Judaism, Christianity, and Islam are sometimes called Abrahamic religions because they all accept the tradition of a God, Yahweh, that revealed himself to the prophet Abraham. The theological traditions of all Abrahamic religions are thus to some extent influenced by the depiction of the God of Israel in the Hebrew Bible, and the historical development of monotheism in the history of Judaism. The Abrahamic God in this sense is the conception of God that remains a common attribute of all three traditions. God is conceived of as eternal, omnipotent, omniscient and as the creator of the universe. God is further held to have the properties of holiness, justice, omnibenevolence and omnipresence. Proponents of Abrahamic faiths believe that God is also transcendent, meaning that he is outside space and outside time and therefore not subject to anything within his creation, but at the same time a personal God, involved, listening to prayer and reacting to the actions of his creatures. Baha'i faith The Baha I writings describe a monotheistic, personal, inaccessible, omniscient, omnipresent, imperishable, and almighty God who is the creator of all things in the universe. The existence of God and the universe is thought to be eternal, without a beginning or end, though transcendent and inaccessible directly, God is nevertheless seen as conscious of creation, with a will and purpose that is expressed through messengers termed manifestations of God. The purpose of creation is for the created to have the capacity to know and love its creator, through such methods as prayer, reflection, and being of service to humankind. God communicates his will and purpose to humanity through intermediaries, known as manifestations of God, who are the prophets and messengers who have founded religions from prehistoric times up to the present day. The manifestations of God reflect divine attributes, which are creations of God made for the purpose of spiritual enlightenment, onto the physical plane of existence. In the Baha, I view, all physical beings reflect at least one of these attributes, and the human soul can potentially reflect all of them. The Baha'i view rejects all pantheistic, anthropomorphic, and incarnationist beliefs in God. Christianity Christianity originated within the realm of Second Temple Judaism and thus shares most of its beliefs about God, including his omnipotence, omniscience, his role as creator of all things, his personality, immanence, transcendence and ultimate unity and supremacy, with the innovation that Jesus of Nazareth is considered to be in one way or another, the fulfillment of ancient prophecy or the completion of the law of the prophets of Israel. Most Christian denominations believe Jesus to be the incarnation of God as a human being, which is the main theological divergence with respect to Judaism and Islam. Although personal salvation is implicitly stated in Judaism, personal salvation by grace and a recurring emphasis in right beliefs is particularly emphasized in Christianity, often contrasting this with a perceived over-emphasis in law observance as stated in canon Jewish law, where it is contended that a belief in an intermediary between man and God is against the Noahide laws, and thus not monotheistic. For most Christians, beliefs about God are enshrined in the doctrine of Trinitarianism, which holds that the three persons of the Trinity are distinct but all of the same indivisible essence, meaning that the Father is God, the Holy Spirit is God and the Son is God yet there is one God as there is one indivisible essence. The doctrines were largely formalized at the Council of Nicaea and are enshrined in the Nicene Creed. The Trinitarian view emphasizes that God has a will, and that God the Son has two wills, divine and human, though these are never in conflict but joined in the hypostatic union. A small minority of Christians, largely coming under the heading of Unitarianism, hold non-Trinitarian views. Mormonism in the Mormonism represented by most of Mormon communities including the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, God means Elohim the Father, whereas Godhead means a council of three distinct gods, Elohim, Jehovah the Son, or Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. The Father and Son have perfected, material bodies, while the Holy Spirit is a spirit and does not have a body. This conception differs from the traditional Christian trinity. In Mormonism, the three persons are considered to be physically separate beings, or personages, but united in will and purpose. As such, the term Godhead differs from how it is used in traditional Christianity. 
This description of God represents the orthodoxy of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints LDS Church, established early in the 19th century. Islam in Islam, God is believed to be the only real supreme being, all-powerful and all-knowing creator, sustainer, ordainer, and judge of the universe. Islam puts a heavy emphasis on the conceptualization of God as strictly singular tahid". He is unique wahid and inherently one ahad, all-merciful and omnipotent. According to the Qur'an, and there are ninety-nine names of God al al lit, meaning, the best names each of which evoke a distinct characteristic of God. All these names refer to Allah, the supreme and all-comprehensive divine Arabic name. Among the ninety-nine names of God, the most famous and most frequent of these names are the most gracious al -Rahim and the most merciful al -Rahman. .Creation and ordering of the universe is seen as an act of prime mercy for which all creatures sing His glories and bear witness to His unity and lordship. According to the Qur. An. No vision can grasp Him, but His grasp is over all vision. He is above all comprehension, yet is acquainted with all things. Qur. and 6 to 103. God in Islam is not only majestic and sovereign, but also a personal God. According to the Qur. and He is nearer to a person than that person's jugular vein. He responds to those in need or distress whenever they call him. Above all, he guides humanity to the right way, the straight path. Islam teaches that God is the same God worshipped by the members of other Abrahamic religions such as Christianity and Judaism 29 .This is not universally accepted by non-Muslims, as Islam denies the divinity of Jesus Christ as a son of God. Islam views that God does not have any offsprings or descendants, he created all things including prophets such as Jesus Christ. Most Muslims today believe that the religion of Abraham which now split into Judaism, Christianity, and Islam are of one source, which is the Almighty God. <inaudible> Judaism Judaism, the oldest Abrahamic religion, is based on a strict monotheism, finding its origins in the sole veneration of the ancient predecessor to the Abrahamic God, Yahweh. The idea of God as a duality or trinity is heretical in Judaism, it is considered akin to polytheism. God, the cause of all, is one. This does not mean one as in one of series, nor one like a species which encompasses many individuals, nor one as in an object that is made up of many elements, nor as a single simple object that is infinitely divisible. Rather, God is a unity unlike any other possible unity. This is referred to in the Torah. Hear Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord is one. Doi. 6 4 God is conceived of as eternal, the creator of the universe, and the source of morality. God has the power to intervene in the world. The term God thus corresponds to an actual ontological reality, and is not merely a projection of the human psyche. Maimonides describes God in this fashion the foundation of all foundations and the pillar of wisdom is to know that there is a primary being who brought into being all existence. All the beings of the heavens, the earth, and what is between them came into existence only from the truth of his being. See also Conceptions of God God of Abraham Yiddish prayer. Names of God Table of Prophets of Abrahamic religions References Topic <references>